Hey everybody, Jason here uh, for the um, RPG A Day 2019. This is the second or third video that I'm recording today ahead of time for RPG A Day. And today is day number seven, word number seven, um, subject, keyword number seven, whatever you want to call it. And that is familiar. And I thought about this a couple of different ways, um, and I think what I wanted to, to, to do was use the word familiar in terms of the systems that we play, the systems that we use, not the games that we play, but the systems, because a lot of systems can be used for multiple different genres or games or IPs or whatever, and one thing that should be familiar to anybody following this channel is um, how bumpy... See how, shake, see how shitty this road is I'm on? This bumpy, shitty road. And my bumpy, loose, shitty uh, camera setup here. That should be familiar to anybody who watches my videos. So uh, familiar for me in this video particularly is going to be about uh, systems. And uh, why do we tend to choose games that use similar or um, systems and that's probably because they are familiar to us uh, they don't take a lot of work like for example and I'll just use the OSR as an example or D20 because it's kind of the same thing uh, mechanically anyway it's kind of the same thing there's different sensibilities and whatnot but um, similar is also in this in this regard related to familiar because if something is similar to another thing it might be it might seem familiar to you so uh, I think we do, and I'm, again, I'm going to use OSR. You can use D6, uh, like Star Wars West End Games D6, uh, as an example, or uh, the Storyteller System for Mortal Darkness, um, Genesis from uh, Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, but I'm going to use OSR because it's probably the most prevalent in our, our hobby, our community, in... Uh, the OSR, if you've played any version of D&D, whether it's original D&D through 5th edition, um, whether it be 2nd, 3rd, 3.5, 4th edition, whatever, even though they are different systems, like fundamentally they're all the same thing, it's rolling a D20 and comparing it to a number, whether it's higher or lower, whether you're adding to the D20 or subtracting from the D20, um, it's all basically the same thing. So, we tend to stick with that system because it's familiar to us. We know what it is. We know how to use it. It takes very little time to learn new variations of rules. It takes very little time for us to modify rules and come up with new house rules. It's very easy for us to adapt certain stories or story elements or IPs or genres into that system. And there's a plus and a minus to that in that sometimes that doesn't always work. Um, the OSR, while familiar to all of us, isn't necessarily going to be the smoothest fit for a game um, based on a genre or an IP or something like that. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's not the point of this video. The point is, we, we go back to things that are familiar to us. You know, and I don't know if that's, I don't know, you know, psychologically, I don't know why we as humans do that. But, and I, I guess it doesn't matter because we do it. But we're, f we're familiar with things and we get comfortable with them because we're familiar with them. And so it can eliminate the the learning curve, it can help us jump into the games faster, write the adventures faster, um, get through play sessions even faster, uh, when we know how to use the system, when the system is so familiar to us, it can sometimes fade into the background and not become a factor in play, like, you know, yeah, we know we have to roll a d20 and add our base attack bonus to, to attack somebody. We've done it so much, we're so familiar with it, and it's such second nature that it doesn't get in the way of gameplay. Um, unless you're playing a super tactical 
version of it, of something that's familiar, and even then, you might make tac tactical decisions or choices um, and not realize that the, it can be so easy, like I said, second nature to you, that it doesn't seem like you're making a choice because it's just so familiar to you. Uh, and I think that's a great, great thing about familiar systems for us. And that says a lot about uh, the hobby to have a, you know, certain systems being familiar means they probably have a longevity and that means they're probably well thought out, well play tested and mechanically for the most part they work pretty accurately and that could is you know always a subject you know of debate and, and opinion but familiarity and being familiar with a system can be very very good for your group for your players um, it can less resistance to playing new games like if I say well guys I would love to play um, this other genre of game I know we've been playing D&D &D fantasy for a long time but uh, I would really love to jump into uh, you know Star Wars Saga Edition and people are like well I love Star Wars but I don't really want to learn a new system I'm just you know and you're like well good news it's going to be very familiar to you because it's the D20 system. And people are like, oh, shit, okay. That's, there are slight changes to the system, but for the most part, it's familiar. We can jump into this within uh, no time at all. We can be um, familiar with how the new systems work and the, the subsystems and changes to the, to the way the game plays. And just jump right in and enjoy some Star Wars. So familiarity can be a really, really good thing. I, I can't think of anything negative, really, um, about something being familiar. Um, but again, I guess that's not what RPG a day about. The, the RPG a day is about. You don't want to have anything negative. This is a positive video, right? So anyway, uh, familiarity can be a good thing. And uh, if you ever think that familiarity might be a negative thing, think about why it possibly could be a good thing. Try to, try to find the good, good parts of it. And it can, might, might help your games run a little smoother or less resistance to play a certain type of game. So anyway, that was uh, another uh, seven-minute rambling video from me. And I hope you appreciate it. Uh, the fact that I didn't go 10 minutes, and uh, hope you are enjoying RPG ADI 2019, and uh, get involved, do some videos, write some blog posts, do something with RPG a day, and uh, we will see you guys later.